Fault finding can be overwhelming sometimes. And today we have an issue with garden lighting and a pond supply, which is tripping out the MCB. So I'm going back to basics and I'm gonna walk you through exactly how I carry out this fault finding. And hopefully you younger lads will pick up a few tips along the way. What we have is a supply going to this switch. One of these switches operates the pond and the other one supplies the garden lighting. We're gonna break it down and just go step by step and show you exactly best procedure to carry out. So from this switch, we go to this metal conduit box here where we've got a neutral and two switch lines. One for the pond and one for the lighting. And then from here, we go out to a garden shed. In the shed, I've got this junction box here and three SWA cables coming in and out of it. The first one to my right is the cable coming from the house. And then we have one which then loops to this socket outlet where the pond was plugged into and that's how that switched. First thing I'm gonna do is disconnect all these cables, take them out of these blocks and put them in Wagos. That will make this a lot easier for me to just disconnect cables really quickly and test through them. Now I'm gonna go back to that switch and I'm gonna mega through the cables, show you that I've got a fault, then we're gonna start disconnecting cables and mega in through and take it from there. So I'm gonna go between my live and neutral first of all, and I'm hard down. Then I'm gonna go between my earth and my live, hard down, earth and neutral, hard down. Then I'm gonna combine my live and neutral and test at earth, and we're hard down. So back at this junction box, I'm gonna disconnect now the red, and I'm gonna disconnect the blue, and I'm gonna disconnect the earth. And just to keep this simple for you, I'm gonna go back and mega it from the other end again. And it's not that far, so I don't mind doing this bit of walking. So now back at the switch, I'm gonna mega between live and neutral again, or line and neutral. And we're clear. I'm gonna go between live and earth, and we're completely clear. And lastly, neutral and earth. I've done live and earth the wrong way around there. We're clear. So that tells me that the cable coming from here to the shed is good. It's clear, no faults on it. So I know that the fault exists further on down the line. From that junction box, I've got SWA going into this conduit box here, I think. And what we have is connector blocks in here, taped up. I also have a twin and earth here coming out the bottom. And when I start seeing things like this, I know that this went from a professional installation to a DIY one. So I'm gonna do exactly the same procedure Put this in Wago blocks, disconnect the spike light, which looks worse for wear, and mega through this part. The chances are it's the spike lights that have degraded. We're definitely gonna ditch this twin and earth cable, but this is all part of the process. Just taking it step by step. I also have a neutral just hanging out here, so that's a never, never good, and that was going to the spike light. The next thing I'm gonna do is separate the pond circuit from the lighting circuit and mega through both of those. Hopefully I'll be able to identify where the problem lies. So I'm gonna start with the lighting circuit, which is SWA here. So what I'm just gonna do is just make a note on here what all this does. So I'm just gonna put an S in this box for supply, or F for feed actually. And then here I'm gonna put L for lights, and this one here could also be another lighting circuit actually. So I'm gonna have to mega through both of those. So we'll start with this one, we're gonna disconnect that live, disconnect that neutral, and disconnect that earth and then give it a test. I'm gonna go line to neutral first of all. And we have a reading of under one mega ohm, so a potential issue there. Neutral to earth. I've got greater than 400 mega ohms there, so I'm quite happy with that. And then line to earth. 400 mega ohms again. So I've definitely got a potential issue between line and neutral. I'm gonna mega that again, under a mega ohm, so that's gonna be causing a problem. So what I'm gonna do now is disconnect the last SWA, and we're gonna do the same procedure and see what results I get with that. Line to neutral again, completely clear. Neutral to earth, oh yeah, we've got around 70, 80 mega ohms there, so that is acceptable, but not the best readings. And then we're gonna go line to earth, which is completely clear. So I think my fault lies on this cable here. Now I just need to identify where this cable goes. I'm gonna twist the cables out of the way, twist those out of the way, and that one. I have several conduit boxes outside, so I need to find out where this cable goes. And I'm gonna do that by carrying out continuity testing. I've got my mega set to ohms now, and I'm just gonna test between line and neutral, and we don't have anything. Line and earth, nothing. Neutral and earth, nothing. So what I can do is put a link on the other end of the cable, and then we'll hear this beep. That way I'll know that I'm on the right cable. So this is one SWA. I'm gonna put my link 
on my line and on my earth and then go back to my mega where I've got my line and earth connected up there and we've got no continuity so that's not the right cable the hunt begins I found another conduit box in another part of the garden tucked away so I can get you balanced here I've disconnected the spike light and I'm going to put this on my line and earth again. And I can already hear my tester beeping. We have 0.47 on the continuity, which tells me that is that cable. Phone's ringing. Now that I've got the spike light disconnected, I'm gonna mega through the cable again and see if it was a spike light causing the issue or if it's the cable feeding it. So I'm gonna set this back to 250 volts. And I'm gonna go between line and neutral because that was the problem. Test it. We're absolutely clear now. I'll do the same on line to earth, clear on live to earth, neutral to earth, clear, line to neutral, clear. That is all clear, which tells me it could have been the spike light. So now what I have with this cable here, which goes to that second conduit box, if I do my mega test between line and earth, I'm completely clear, neutral and earth, completely clear, line and neutral, I'm completely clear. So I've got both of these speeds going to both junction boxes clear which tells me we've got a problem with those spike lights. Now I'm going to test through the pump circuit and see what that's doing. So now I'm going to disconnect this, which is just connected up to this socket and carry out the same procedure. Line and neutral, line and neutral, completely clear. Line and earth, clear, neutral and earth, completely clear. So the pump circuit's good also. So next what I'm going to do is put those conduit box cables into Wago boxes, connect all this back up, connect the switch back up, turn it on, see if we can get the pump running. If it trips, then it's going to be this being the issue and make sure that all my supplies to the conduit boxes are live and then we can put new spikes in. I'm also just going to test this dodgy twin and earth cable I found between line and neutral. That's hard down. Hard down, neutral to earth and then line to earth, hard down. But I have got load on the other side, so I'll disconnect that. That twin and earth is definitely faulty and got to go regardless. Back at the switch where I showed you the fault at the beginning, I've got it between line and neutral, mega in it again. Now we're completely clear. Line and earth, clear, neutral and earth, clear. So now I can connect this back up. I know that lighting part of the circuit is now good. It's just down to that pump. So now I have juice here. I have juice on this one for the pump. I've got juice here. And I've got juice here. So now the moment of truth. Let's plug in the pump. No trip. And we have lights on. But no water fountain working. So there may still be a problem with the pump itself. You may have discovered why the pond isn't working. Always the simple things. So new fuse in there and we give it a go. I stripped it straight out, I think. Straight out, okay. Uh... Turn the pump on, tripped out straight away. So I've cut the pump off the cable, and then I've turned it back on, and we're fine. So I know the cable from here to the pump is good. We're just gonna get a new pump. I'm also playing in a charity football match on the 17th of May at Barnsley Football Stadium. It's Sparks versus Plumbers. We're gonna smash them. The charity is in support of men's mental health, which affects an awful lot of people. It could be young, old people, ex-military, homeless people. It can affect all of us at some point in our life. We're trying to raise some money for it. All the information is at, on a website. It's called Soccer Trade, where you can buy tickets. I think they're about six pounds, so they're not a lot. And there's gonna be a, a big trade show there as well. It'd be great to see you all there. I've changed my uniform a little bit in support of this. I'm playing number five. I'm thinking about selling some merchandise, including jumpers and t-shirts, the same as this. And all proceeds will go towards the charity. But I, I need to make sure that people are gonna be interested in this or not. Otherwise, I'm gonna end up spending a load of money and having a load of stock. So, if it's something you think you would be interested in supporting, supporting me and supporting that charity, please leave a comment below. And then if I get enough sort of interest, then I'll get a load made up and let you know when it's available on sale. Ba -da -ba 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 -ba. I've got a little bit of this cable that's gonna be concealed. So I'm just sticking it in a little bit of Flexi Copex just for a little bit of mechanical protection. So that's all the fault finding done here today. We've got a new pump on the way. I'll get that connected up when it turns up. I'm gonna button all this up. Thanks for watching, subscribe to my channel. See you next week. Continuing on with the fault finding. This is the second part of the garden and what I've found is quite shocking. Have a look at this.